Hi, I'm Paul Twenge, head baseball coach at Minnetonka High School. We're here today to follow up on some of the clinic information we've been getting out to uh, baseball coaches throughout Minnetonka and anybody else who'd like to use it. Today I want to take a little bit of time and, and work with Blake Nelson, one of our senior baseball players and a shortstop for us. He's been on the varsity for three years and we're going to talk about how to prepare to receive the ball as an infielder. A lot of kids don't understand and, and uh, sometimes coaches don't understand what needs to be done and when to do it. So with Blake we have a system called Ready Set which is merely uh, moving your feet in, in continuity with the idea of the pitcher getting ready to deliver a pitch to the plate and that actually relaxes the fielder because what we don't want is a fielder that gets nice and rigid. For example, let's imagine, and I'm just going to take Blake here and I'm going to put him into his ready set position. He's already taken his steps, go ahead and get ready set. And Let's imagine he's waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the pitcher to make his delivery. Eventually he's going to go flat footed. His hamstrings will get tight. All this kind of physiological stuff that I don't want to spend a lot of time on but there's a reason for that we don't want him to be that way we want him to be strong but we want him to be relaxed because he's gonna to have to move to his left he's gonna to have to move to his right he's gonna to have to go in to his left he's gonna to have to go into his right and he may have to go back so what we want to do is we put everything in sync with these two steps to get ready it has to do with how we cover base stealing uh, uh, how we cover uh, bunt coverages, it puts us all in that position. So what we do is we just take a little step and we're going to step back here and uh, I'm going to step to the side and what Blake is going to do and as he moves into this position I'll continue to speak. Blake is at shortstop position and as the pitcher is about to deliver the pitcher lifts his leg, Blake will take two steps in at the hitter. That's very important. Uh, I'm going to walk back here. I'm going to. I'm going to tell you something you can teach kids. You should make every kid imagine that they've been shot through the back. And I. And again, I don't want to get in trouble with their parents. But they've been shot through the back with an arrow, and it's sticking through their chest. That arrow points to the hitter. A lot of guys that are playing in the infield, in Blake's case, may have this pointing to the on deck hitter or may even have it pointing into the third base dugout or, or first base dugout if they're at third base. This needs to point to the hitter. That way they're on the same line as where the ball is going to come from. And as the pitcher lifts his leg, Blake is going to take a right left position which is what we call ready set. And the reason we don't want to stay in the terms right left is our first baseman may be left handed and he would then be left right. So in this case your throwing side foot would go first then your glove side foot and uh, we'll go ahead and do it. So the pitcher lifts his leg right left back up Blake let's do it again and now we just change this term to this ready set. Okay now as Blake comes to this position you see how he extends his arms out. Now he's over exaggerating because I told him to. Basically we're going to turn the glove so it's nice and easy. Hands here and they're in the position here so as soon as the ball gets to a position where he can feel it, his hand is going to go into the glove and get it. Now understand he's standing up top, up high. A lot of guys, Blake, get down real low and imagine you're in that position. Get your glove right down on the ground. In a lot of guys getting this low the first instinct they have unless they've been well trained when the ball is hit is a reaction to the bat and they stand up. That's time lost. Anytime the ball is on the ground, relax. Anytime the ball is on the ground, the longer it's on the ground, the closer the runner now gets to first base and the more pressure you put on yourself to throw the ball accurately. We want to throw accurately but we want to give ourselves time to focus in on where we're throwing. So in this case we want to work from up to down instead of from down up down. So in Blake's situation when he gets into his ready set position and the ball's hit to him he's now going to move forward to the ball and as he reaches the ball his last two steps that he takes will match the first two steps he started with right left especially if the ball is hit directly at him or to his glove side. We have some other uh, steps you have to go through if the ball's hit to his throwing side but we're not getting to that today. But this whole thing right here is like uh, 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 it can't be piano keys it has to be like bells all ringing at the same time. Third baseman, shortstop, first baseman, second baseman all step together so they're ready at the same time. Now, to show you what this means, I'm going to bring in uh, Andrew Weber here to be a pitcher, and I'm going to stand him in the foreground, and I'm going to move Blake back, 
And Andrew's going to be the pitcher. He's a left-handed pitcher right over here. This is Andrew Weber, another one of our captains here this year. And what Andrew's going to do is he's going to imagine taking a sign from the catcher, and then he's going to go through his windup. And at that time, when Andrew's leg lifts, it's going to look like we're getting into our defensive position late. Andrew, you got a ball there? You do now. B very good. I want you to stop once your strike foot hits the ground. And I'm going to show you something as a coach that most guys won't understand because you're going to say, well, gosh, you're getting into your defensive position too late. We don't want to be there too early because I've already explained the fact that the muscles in the legs get fatigued, the heels fall to the ground, and now we're actually counterproductive to the idea of going forward and working down as opposed to going up and forward. We don't want to go up and forward. We want to work down to the baseball. We want to have everything moving that way. So here we go. We got uh, Andrew now getting ready to pitch. In the background, you'll see uh, Blake, and he will synchronize his steps with the movements of the pitcher. Go ahead, Webby. Right, left, stop. Now, he's in position, and because he's moving on this leg, the ball is still in his hand. He's in plenty of time. The ball still has to travel from the pitcher to the hitter. We're already there. Instead of having him, all right, stay in that position and Webby go through that all again. He's already in his position. Get there. Get ready. Get ready. He doesn't know when Webby's there. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. All of a sudden, Webby decides to pitch, and he goes. That's too long of a time. We're going to stiffen. We're going to get rigid. We're going to get slow. You can do this. The one thing in baseball is that, that keeps kids coming back to it is the idea of hitting a baseball. But not everybody has the ability to hit as often as they'd like. The one thing you can do day in and day out is the idea of playing defense. So again, now we're going to put him in a stretch position. It's the same formula. He's going to get in ready, ready, set. He lifts. Ready, set. Plenty of time to get in position to get it. Blake, come on up here. Thanks, Webby. You can jump off to the side there, Webby. I want to show Blake one more time, and I want to show his position from the side. This is the last thing I want to give you. Go ahead, Blake. Get in your ready, set position. Look at him. Flat back. Eyes are pointing forward. He's ready to go in any position. His glove is out. He has his glove between his eyes and the hitter. And now all he has to do is remember this last fact. Relax. When you're playing defense and the ball's hit at you or glove side, once you get in position to get that ball, go out and get it and keep the glove between your eyes and the ball. Eyes and the ball. You'll go to it. Thank you very much.